in every anime season, there comes a time when the season ends and a new one begins. And uh, right now, this season's ending and a new one's beginning with Spring 2024. And we're going to check out all the trailers for all the anime coming in the upcoming season. Logo reveal. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You can find the full link as well as exclusives for all the anime I will be watching next season over on Patreon. Plus all the stuff that I've watched for all these other seasons if you, if you like anime and you want to check out my full-length reactions you can find those over on patreon and you can also find links down in the description to uh some of the trailers that i've already done reactions for specifically kaiju 8 i think that's the only one that i've watched trailers for it uh, at this point you'll also find a link to my second channel where i do non-anime reactions maybe you want to check that out and then finally you can find a link to my twitch channel like i just did all of these trailer reactions live on Twitch, all right? I got a, a bunch of people hanging out. We're all just gonna watch these trailers. And you could have been there if you were already following, but maybe this is your first time finding the, uh, the videos. And so maybe you don't know about it, but maybe you can hit me with a follow now. You can stop by for some of these seasonal anime reactions that I will be doing over on Twitch. Some of them will not be on YouTube. They will all be on, on Patreon, obviously, but some of them will not be on YouTube. Only Twitch and Patreon, okay? So let's get it. Do you read synopsis first for a better, clear understanding? Nah, fuck that. Hook me on a trailer. I don't need your synopsis. Hook me on a trailer. Uh, this is Konosuba. Oh, by the way, if this video is posted before Thursday, then you could stop by as we watch the movie. I've never seen the movie, but I have seen seasons one and two, and I've done rewatches the past two weeks for Konosuba, season one and season two. The movie I'm watching this Thursday for the first time, if you want to stop by for that. Should be fun. On on stream, live, on Twitch. So again, again, hit me with a follow. More darkness, always good. Damn toxic. It looks so different. <laughs> oh my god, darkness. You may be able to see your Whoa! What you mean? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What is happening here? So much is happening. I don't really know what's happening. Oh, they're gonna loot a lolly. They're gonna loot a lolly. I know it. I can taste it. I've, I've, I've had, I've consumed so many anime. I can, I can taste when they're gonna do something. All right. I know it. I know it's coming. I know it. I know it for sure. Yeah, I, I should have said s smell. I can smell it, but I said taste, and uh, it was a little weird. I'm not going to lie. All right, next up. Next up, we got uh, the the next one. I don't remember what it is. Oh, also Konosuba. Oh, yes. The standard fantasy of most Japanese man. Call me Onichan. I don't know if it's true, but that's what anime would have you believe. <laughs> Dude, Kazuma certainly is no good. That is accurate. Oh, yeah, she she did it. She said Oni-chan. Oh. oh, shit. Whoa, you're now grabbing at a crazy spot. Whoa. Oh God, what is he stealing? Oh God. Uh, by the way, I just want to say, if you, if trailers are missing, it's because copyright stuff and we had to cut them. All right, it happens. All right, what am I going to do? Okay, so some, some trailers might not be here. All right, next up, new Demon Slayer arc. Uh-oh. Hashida training. The Hashida training arc. The end is coming soon for Demon Slayer. Damn, all these fucking brolic. Hey, Tengen! No Rengoku, sadly. May 12th. Okay, May 12th for Demon Slayer. Next up, new slime trailer. What's going on with season three? There's still someone I have to settle. Uh, and it's a back-to-back -back core, right? Two cores in a row? 
I'm pretty sure I heard that. It's his daughter, it's not weird. Demon child. Cool. All right. I mean, listen, dude, uh, we've been waiting a while for season three of that, okay? Let's be realistic here. Who's the Demon King now? Good question, dude. Next up, Mishoku Tensei, season two, part two. The goat. Mishoku Tensei. Oh, this is cute. All the memories. And then he fucked her. You guys remember that too? He did that too. Dude, they were, oh, dude, they freaking led us along for so long during that season, dude. Season two, part one, just waiting and waiting, dude. Every episode, just like, ah, ah, is she gonna say it? Is she gonna reveal who she is? is it, dude, they edged us for so long, but it was worth it in the end, I think. It was worth it in the end. There are so many cute, men, uh, cute moments between the two of them. Oh my God. Hey, Richard, let's go. My guy, bro. Hey, chat, you gonna see me? That's gonna be me. I'm gonna dye my beard green. I'm gonna show up with the, I gotta get one of these headbands. Somebody get me one of these headbands. I'm gonna be Richard. I'm gonna get a little fake scar, like a bearded Richard. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Mailage. What the f Hey, yo, where's Roxy, though? Hey, hold on. Listen, I'm just saying. Listen, Eris took his virginity. He's getting married to Sylphie, right? Something's gonna happen during the season, and he is going to have to leave Sylphie, and he's gonna bust one in Roxy's gut. And, uh, and and that's gonna be the first first baby mama, Roxy. I'm just saying. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, Joe, calm down. Why do I gotta calm down, bro? You people made me watch uh, uh, Gushing Over Magical Girls just before this, all right? That was good. That was good, man. Uh, is there more after? I don't think so. Okay, cool. All right, man. Hey, listen, I've been looking forward to it. There is a little spoiler telling us that they're getting married, but I'm sure it's gonna be something that happens like in the first episode or two, so not that big of a deal. All right, next up, My Hero Season 7 trailer. Oh, shit. Oh, was, okay, well, whatever. We're becoming despair and go beyond it even further. Plus Ultra. God. Uh, you know, I don't even want to look at these trailers. There's, uh, not, sorry, not, I don't want to look at the, 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 the subtitles. They're terrible. I'd rather just guess. I'm gonna get you one for all, and it'll be mine. I don't know what that says. Oh, I will say, I think that I have read maybe about half of season seven. I don't remember where I stopped reading. Oh, uh, I do remember where I stopped reading. I stopped reading after a certain someone was revealed that will happen in this season, but before any clash between Deku and someone else. If you know, you know, I guess. We'll see. Also, I'm starting to think that maybe there's a lot more that happened that I don't remember. Because it might not happen in this uh, season. I might be skipping over a whole last arc. And that's where we left off last season, right? Ooh. Cool. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. I actually don't... I feel like I might be skipping over a whole arc, maybe. It's possible. Uh, Next up, we got Day to Live Season 5. Now, listen... Um, I'm skipping a trailer for um, Misfit of Demon King Academy. I'm not gonna watch that. I didn't like the last season. I'm not watching more of it. I'm done with that anime. It's over, okay? It's over for me. I'm not watching it, okay? So, also, if you wanna see my Kaiju 8 trailer reactions, there's a bunch of them already. You can find them down in the description. I already linked them. Go check them out. Maybe watch some of those trailers, you know? If you're interested. I'm really excited for Kaiju 8. I read a bunch of Kaiju 8 at one point. So I probably read all of what season one is from like as the chapters were coming out. So I don't know when that was, but it was a while ago and I may or may not remember things as usual, typical me. That's why I'm waiting for something like Don to Don because I never read it. Or Sakamoto Days, please one day, 
please. Because I purposefully did not read Sakamoto Days thinking that we would get an anime trailer. Or not an anime trailer, but thinking that we would get an anime for it and we still have not gotten an anime trailer. Uh, a little disappointing. Anyways, Data Live. And this should be the best season of Data Live. It would not even be hard for this to be the best season. That seems to be a lot of CG in this one. This is the final season, right? Season five? I think it's supposed to be. Oh, there's still more. Oh yeah, they are CGing the fuck out of this anime. <laughs> uh, somebody told me that season five was supposed to be the final season, but I guess maybe not. Could me the only sh bright fucking s spot in this whole show. Oh wait, also we fuck with um origami. She cool too. All right, cool, cool. Next up, we got a couple Spice and Wolf trailers. Now I will say for Spice and Wolf, I watched the original Spice and Wolf already. Okay, I watched it on Patreon. You can, you can watch it. It's on Patreon. All right, in the highest tier, the ten dollar tier, admittedly, because it was an exclusive thing that was voted on by the patrons, and I loved it. And I found out while watching Spice and Wolf two things: one, that it was one of my dad's favorite anime, and two, that I literally remembered the OPs and EDs for that show, the original. They're probably gonna use different OPs and EDs, which low-key is a little sad because phenomenal. Some of the greatest, or at least for me, OPs and EDs. I love Spice and Wolf, but um, yeah. We'll see what the new one's like, the remake. Isn't our boy, hey wait, Kevin Pankin's doing this, right? I say our boy like he's, if you've watched Trash Taste then you're probably very familiar with Kevin Pankin and that's probably why I say our boy, but isn't Kevin Pankin doing this one? Oh. Oh. Oh, dude, that's crazy. I remember these things. Same voice actors. I love it. Oh, that was good, dude. That was good. All right, I want to watch another trailer for it. We have two trailers for it. Same voice actors, which is awesome. <sighs> I like that. I like this. I like this. It looks fine to me, I think. I think it looks fine. All right, next up we've got The Irregular Magic High School, which by the way, also a series that I covered on Patreon. Just saying. I don't know if we're gonna bring those over, The Irregular Magic High School reactions. I don't know if we will bring those over to YouTube or not. I'm kind of torn on whether I should upload episode one of season one, or should I upload season three, episode one? I might just leave Irregular Magic High School on Patreon and just upload season three. I might just do that. I might just, I might just do that. Y'all can watch the first two seasons and a movie. Reactions over on Patreon, just saying. Of course, Trouble Days begin once again. Ooh. The sibling lovers once again. Back at it. Oni-chan. Good. It's great to see the sibling lovers back at it. We love to see it. The Wincest. Next up, we've got the third season of Laid Back Camp, Yuta Camp. I watched these first two seasons before I ever did reactions. So I did watch the first two seasons, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna do reactions to the third season because it's very chill. Like it's nice, but I don't think it's a reaction series. I think it's one that I just watch. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. More camping. What I will say about this that is a little concerning. Just as you mentioned, Binu, Tensuda, Irregular Magic High School, Laid Back Camp, Yudu Camp are all part of 8-Bit. 8-Bit also, the Nagi movie, 
for the blue lock. And they're probably going to start working on another season of blue lock soon, which is crazy. Like, they're doing a lot. And when we see studios doing a lot, it usually leads to some less than stuff, you know? It's a little concerning, you know? All right. Next up, season three of Sound Euphonium. Oh, I love Sound Euphonium. By the way, you can check out my reactions to Sound Euphonium over on Patreon as well. It's over on Patreon. I don't even know if we're going to be uploading reactions to season three of Sound Euphonium on YouTube, but they will be on Patreon. I guarantee it. That should be good. That should be good. I may end up uploading the the Liz and the Bluebird movie to, to YouTube at some point during this anime season. Phenomenal movie. God, got me crying. I don't know if I'm going to upload reactions to Sound Euphonium. I don't know if it's going to do very well. But yeah, I will definitely do the reactions for Patreon at the very least. And uh, damn, love, love Sound Euphonium. Next up, whisper me a love song. Singing like a resting voice or whisper me a love song. Interesting. Yeah, man, we'll see. We will see. I have a feeling even if I choose not to react to that series, once I ask Patreon, hey, what should I react to? They're all going to recommend this because they love themselves some Yuri. They love, my Patreon loves Yuri and does not like BL. They love GL, hate BL. I mean, I'm down either way. I don't really care. You know, romance is romance, but um, yeah. Next up, go, go, loser ranger. <laughs> Subtitles are fucking ass, by the way. Ass subtitles. Okay, so what I'm like gathering from this is that the the Power Rangers fight against villains every week, but the Power Rangers might be dickheads, and they've been killing the 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 villains. Now the villains are fighting back. The boys Power Rangers edition. Mm, interesting. Now there is one downside to this whole thing. And that's probably, this probably going to be the main reason why we don't do reactions for it on YouTube. I'm going to be real with you. There's CG. There's very apparent CG. And uh, you know, anime fans, if you, if you, if you know anime fans, they are afraid of it. They're so afraid of CG. It is uh, not afraid of it. Uh, that's not the right word. They are, they just don't like it, man. They just don't like CG. All right. Uh, so it's probably not going to do well. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to do well on, 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 on YouTube. Also on top of that, I hear it's a Hulu Disney show, which means it's extra not going to do well. I mean, I do plan on maybe uploading the first reaction for that one over on uh, YouTube and seeing how that does. But I guarantee you it's going to do so bad. I guarantee you. I, I know these things. I've been doing this for too long. I know. Next, bartender. No, that's not. No, no. No, I don't think that's what bartender means. It's somebody that tends to the bar. You take care of the bar, which I guess could be a perch. Uh, that's not, I mean, that was, that was way too, that was too deep a bar, a perch, a tender, gentle. Eh, I mean, I guess, but it's not really what a bartender is, but okay, sure. You broke it down into two different words and then made it its own thing. What's that? Bartender reactions but I drink a new drink every episode. Thoughts? Demonetized? This shit ain't going on YouTube. You think people are going to watch this anime? I'm sorry, but they're not going to. I, I can upload episode one and we already know what's going to happen, okay? <laughs> little fest on it. It's very interesting. 
Oh, interesting. Now I did hear that that is a remake. Next up, a uh, condition called love. Is that my goat? Oh, it is definitely my goat. That's the voice. My female goat. My male goat's Taka Hido Koyasu. That should be good. Should be good. Should be good. Next up, a uh, windbreaker. It's a Cloverworks anime, which is pretty interesting. Wow, that was quick. Okay, cool. It's a delinquent fighting anime, I think. All right, next up, we got Unnamed Memory. Oh, she is Sundere. See that little turn? Sundere for sure. All right. Next, we got uh, I was reincarnated as a seventh prince. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he's going to body this guy. All right, dude. Okay. That's a tough one. This kind of falls in line with a lot of the same shit we've seen so many times, but it does look a little more interesting. I'm kind of torn on this one. I'm not going to lie. But the last time I was kind of torn on something, it ended up being shit, so... Oh, God. So we're going to get one of those moments where he literally says the name of the... Okay. All right. Next up, we got um, Yozakura. Mission Yozakura fan. Oh. Whoa, man, why? Whoa, are they trying to get married? Whoa, so he's marrying into a spy family. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be really funny, actually. More comedy than anything. I think there's gonna be a lot of action, too, but I think it's gonna be really great comedy. Okay. Yeah, I see this being a, a good comedy, dude. For sure. There's something after, too. Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Action comedy. That's actually... That look pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Uh, next up. Whatever this thing is. I don't know what the title is because it's in Japanese. Oh, it's the Grandma, Grandpa, and Now They're Young Again. Oh. He's, he can get it up again. I bet, she, I bet he's gonna lose it. It's gonna be a wholesome anime, I know. Sure. Hey, Grandma, give me Grandpa. What, is what do you mean? All right. It's a weird moment, but sure. Next up, God's Games We Play. You know what anime had a had a very interesting concept with a god that maybe made a world where people play games that we just will never ever get any more of? No game, no life. Arise. Ten victories to the game. You just gotta win ten times. Okay. I just can't help but think that... Yes, exactly. I just can't help but think that this will be like Liar Liar. I don't have faith in this format of, game, of, of anime. Alright. Next up, an Archdemon's Dilemma... How to love your elf bride. Oh, 
人のような殺され方をするのでいつのようにもご主人様の分子がそれはお前はお前にするご主人様恥ずかしいです見れば分かる Alright, next up! Chilling in another world with my level 2 super cheat skill. Wait, what? My level 2 super cheat powers? Alright. This had to have been a freaking、uh, crunch roll anime. If it was a high dive. Cool. Next up, as a reincarnated aristocrat, I will use my appraisal skill to rise in the world. <laughs> It's very interesting that an appraisal skill could be like. <laughs> Oh, he appraised people that looked like they weren't shit, but then he saw that they were. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Next up Blue Archive, the animation. What the fuck? She got a gun on her back. Now I get hungry. Wait, why do they all have guns? Okay, cool, bet. That's interesting. Alright, this is Mysterious Disappearances. It's a grown woman and she has a child for a friend? Yeah, this looks like it could be、uh, an underdog this season. This one looks like it could go under the radar, but still be very, very good. You know what it kind of reminds me of a little bit? It kind of reminds me of、uh, Not Dark Gathering, the one from summer last year. The Undead. Ooh, what is it called? Undead. Nope, nope. Undead Murder Farce. Undead Murder Farce. Undead Murder Farce. That's the one. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Undead Murder Farce. That's the one that it kind of it kind of gives me a vibe of that. A little bit. A little bit. Not so like period piece, but I feel like it's going to be really well done and it's going to be a mystery. I don't think it's going to. When I say it gives me a vibe, I just feel like it's going to go under the radar. It's going to be a good thriller mystery sort of series that a lot of people aren't, aren't going to catch. I might end up watching this. All right, next up, we got Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night. Oh, they like to, they're spray painters. So they're in a band? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what's going on here. I think it's just a coming of age story about some girls. They like to play music and maybe do graffiti and jelly. A lot of jelly.、Um, I don't know. Next up, we got a trailer for The Fable. The Fable, which is a very popular manga, by the way. Finally getting an anime.、Uh, it did that. With that said, the studio behind it, it's、uh, one we don't like to see. Same studio, the studio for this is the same studio that did,、uh, what was that one anime we really liked?、Uh, spring last year. I, well, I almost liked it, but then it was kind of ass. Yeah, they did, oh, My Home Hero, that's the one. They did Under Ninja, they did My Home Hero. They are not good at animation. They do not do good animation. All right, there's gonna be some slideshow shit to this. It's gonna look wonky, it's gonna look weird, but Under Ninja, I think, nailed the comedy. And this is a comedy. My Home Hero wasn't a comedy. This one's a comedy. They might be, this might still be really good. Because Under Ninja, in my opinion, hilarious. Absolutely loved Under Ninja. So many people missed out on a funny series when they decided not to watch it just because of some of the 
animation not being great, but it was funny as fuck. This one could also be funny. Let's play it. Oh! I wonder. Yeah, I just wonder, is it actually gonna be good or not? I mean, because it's a comedy, it could end up being good. I don't know. I, was, I don't know what was supposed to be funny about it, but okay. Next up, the many sides of voice actor radio. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. Ah, oh, interesting, dude. Very interesting. All right, next up we got um, studio apartment, good lighting, and angel included. And then that was the angel taking his wish and making more people around him. Okay. The feather! Nah, it looked too wholesome for me. Next up, Re Monster. Okay, hold on. Yo, we're gonna be developing a goblin fetish, dude. No, it's it. Um, that looked kind of cool. Not gonna lie, but I don't know if it's actually gonna be good. All right, vampire robot. All right. I'll get these subtitles out of here, dude. I don't care. That's too scary. Oh, shit. Rip. What the fuck? Oh, my. Welcome to my vampire dormitory. We all want to feast on you. I promise I'll stop edging out you vampires. All right, next up we got... Banished from ban the banished former hero lives as he pleases. Interesting song. Yeah, music sound kind of fire. That's about it. All right, let's go to the new game. Aruhi, the new gate is Death Game. The game is the same as the 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 game. Oh, Game World. The game is the same as the game. The game is the same as the game. The game is the same as the game. Wait, so this game becomes the future in 500 years or something like that is what it said? All right, next up we got a uh, girl's band cry. It's all CG. All right, what I will say about this is it feels like they saw how well Bochi the Rock did and they were like, hey, we should try that. But they didn't realize that the two, the two of the things, there, I would say there were three things that made Bochi the Rock so great and people loved it, right? One, the music. So slap, get some slapping ass music and you're good, right? Two, the animation which they've already, uh, I don't know. And then three, the fucking comedy. It was funny. And this doesn't look like it's gonna be as much of a comedy. I don't know. All right, next up we got Tadaima Okaidi. <laughs> oh, this one looks like it's got a lot of BO. Alpha and an Omega. What the fuck? What's going on here? Yo, single father's BL? Kind of crazy, bro. BL combined with buddy daddies? I think it's more. It feels like there's um 
this Alpha Omega thing's like, it feels like a, um, almost like a, uh, like a Romeo Juliet situation. You know, you've got your two families, I guess. Omegaverse? What is Omegaverse? What does that mean? Is that a thing? Omegaverse? They're also single fathers and they fall in love. I don't know what Omega Omegaverse thing is. I don't know what that is. So y'all are y'all gonna have to fill me in on that one. Next up, we got Astro Note. <laughs> oh, is this a comedy? Oh, this is definitely a comedy. Oh wait, hold on. Ooh, with nice looking food, gourmet romantic comedy. Sci-fi? Oh, and she's an alien. Oh, what the fuck? This is a sci-fi romantic comedy. Sci-fi gourmet romantic. I don't know, dude. That food looked crazy, though. That food looked crazy. That fucking English breakfast? Dude, look at that English breakfast. Or knockoff English breakfast? I don't know. I see toast, I see beans. That's English breakfast. And the tomatoes, and they got sausages. This right here, all this right here, for this part of the plate. Beans and toast. Yeah. And it, this actually looked kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Galaxy next door, but an actual alien. It looks like it could be Galaxy next door, but actually good. Next up, we got Viral Hit, based on a, a manhwa. Damn. Wait, Charm, middle-aged man, what the fuck? Is this a fighting anime, right? That was like very high action. Very, very high action. Yes, it is a webtoon. Ah, uh, 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 okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Look Back. This is a trailer for Look Back, which is a movie, and it's not gonna be out for a while. This is a one shot from uh, Fujimoto, right? From, wait, I think, okay. And you wanted subs for that? I didn't know there would be need. I didn't know if there was going to be a need for subs, okay? I'm sorry. All right, next up, Oblivion Battery. Uh, Boku, what is it called? Boku, Boku no Hero Battery. Boku, Boku, Bokyaku Battery. There's baseball, so I'm already like, eh. Oh, oh sorry, it scared me. It's, it's baseball. The story of Shohei Otani. Oh shit, he said you'll always have him, but then now he's in the hospital. Who are you? What the fuck was that, dude? What the fuck was that? Oh, if only baseball was actually a good sport. Huh. All right, next uh, is two trailers for, I think, like, similar movie. I don't even know what the fuck's going on here, but this one is Kura Yukaba. That was interesting. And I think the other one is like similar based on, I don't know, dude. It just seemed very oddly connected to it. It might have absolutely nothing to do with it, but it's, I don't know, something. To, it's done by the same studio and it's releasing on the same day. Okay, it is in the same thing. I fucking knew it. I knew it. All right, cool. That's it. We have now watched all the trailers for the upcoming anime season. All the trailers I'm going to watch at least. Yeah, man. Lots of trailers. Lots of trailers. What I want you to do is 
leave a comment down below telling me which anime uh, are you most excited for and and which which anime do you think that maybe i might not have liked the trailer for will i be surprised by let me know down in the comments and if you enjoyed the video like and comment uh maybe subscribe to the channel so you can check out my reactions to a bunch of these anime in the upcoming anime season maybe you want to check out the patreon reactions there'll be even more on patreon and uh yeah till next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace